Hi guys, welcome back. And uh, so this is uh, in continuation to my uh, uh, recently launched uh, series D family, and uh, where I'm going to discuss about uh, D count function, uh, D sum, and uh, D get, D max. So so far three videos are already uploaded, and uh, you can go to this uh, playlist uh, D family, and you can watch all those videos. So as as I promised in my previous video, I talked about the combination of uh, this uh, D count with the star. So this time we'll actually try to uh, combine star and question marks and we'll see that what exactly we can do so here's a question for you so what if you want to count uh, names which starts with J and ends with let's say S and their sales is greater than let's say 100 or maybe let's say greater than $50 so how are you gonna develop that so I'll just com uh, I'll come here and uh, I'll write the same headers as we have in our database and so here we'll give the conditions uh, I will be a little quick here because uh, I'm not gonna discuss about the basics if you if you if you have any problem in understanding the characters and uh, what exactly I'm doing here maybe you can go back to my all three videos and you can watch them and uh, but just to be very uh, precise over here uh, the names is uh, we are going to make these names uh, as it is we are we have taken them from the head uh, you know these um, the primary table and this is we are creating a here because this is the function when we actually are going to use the there is a third parameter in my this decount function which requires these uh, conditions so this is how you write the conditions so if I want to say that uh, the name should be uh, you know it should actually starts with the J and it has a number of characters and then the last character should be S this is how I can write this and for the sales uh, again the same thing I will do uh, I'll say that greater than $50 right so my condition is criteria is ready and now I simply go to the D count and the database that's my database what is my field I'll say that the field is sales and what what is going to be the my criteria this is going to be my criteria so I'll get the two so let us check um, Alan doesn't start with J so just leave it this starts with the J Jackie but it does not have S at the end so James is the one which starts with the J and ends with the S and in mid of it whatever the characters we really don't mind and this is again greater than fifty dollars so this is going to be counted uh, what about this so this again is a another name JMES which has again a sale greater than 50 and this is again going to be counted and rest of the names as you can see here no one has actually alphabet J you know starting with the J so this is how you can create these powerful combinations right so people who doesn't know anything about these functions let me quickly tell you that uh, when you create the criteria here this is the criteria you need to actually give this criteria in this way names and sales these headers are supposed to be the same if I'm going to do some spelling mistake here you see that I'll get the error right so your name should be same and the criteria uh, you can you have to write this like this uh, equals to and then within this if it is going to be a text then you need to write you know equals to and whatever the characters you want to use if I wanted to count Jackie then I could have written like this you know equals to or maybe Alan that's it you know so as you can see here I've got here the number one because this is working on the both conditions this is uh, uh, following Allen as well as this is also checking whether the Allen has greater than 50 or not right so if I change this to let's say $8 you see that I'll get zero so I hope that has made a lot of sense to you now let's go to uh, the real uh, thing which is what if you want to count let's say a name uh, with four characters and at the same time this their sale has to be greater than let's say $50 how will you write it so as you can see here now I'm I have I'm getting here 11 now because my conditions are empty so it is ideally you know, actually it is counting all my table elements which I have 11 names here right the moment I'm gonna enter the characters it will be changed so now we want the four characters only so how are you gonna de declare the four characters how are you gonna make this function you know understand that you just need the four characters so if you have watched my previous videos I have actually talked about uh, these special characters so just as a revision let me tell you star can hold n number of characters and question mark is one question mark means one character and two question marks means it can hold two characters and if you are going to write three question marks then it means you know that it can hold actually uh, three characters so depending upon the number of the question marks you are actually telling your function to hold those many characters so our aim is to hold the four characters so this is how I'm gonna write here four question marks and we are not actually uh, go going to count 
any name uh, which starts with some specific alphabet you know or which contains some specific alphabet every name has to be counted provided it should have you know four characters so this is how you will actually write it so as you can see here I have already got the result because sales is empty so it is calculating only the name so let us quickly check uh, we have the Alan here uh, we have uh, JMS we have Ajay uh, we have uh, yeah that's it right so overall three elements are there now if you if you're going to write another condition which is in front of this and you say that you need to count the names which has four characters but at the same time uh, their sales has to be greater than you know seventy dollar so you see here that I'm getting this I'm still having the same result might be because my data is matching with this so every element Alan has hundred dollar uh, J has triple five JMS has you know double it so what if I change this to let's say um, maybe 100 you see here that now there is only just one name which has four characters and having a sale done greater than 100 so this is going to be my this one right so that's how you can uh, build a lot of things and uh, you can do a lot of stuff you know and uh, similarly you can achieve even uh, a different kind of a result guys uh, what if you are actually uh, looking for let's say uh, let me just keep it as it is so that you can s watch it later uh, what if you want to see that names uh, starts with the alphabet A but should have only four characters including A and their sale has to be greater than you know uh, same 100 so what you're gonna do is you know that this is how I'll write here the criteria and over here what I'll do is I'll say equals to A and then four question marks because I need three characters after A so that the overall length should be four characters and I'll simply say enter perfect now let's use this dlookup function uh, sorry not the dlookup the dcount dlookup is actually a database function what is my field so I'll say the field number is true you can write it sales as well within the quotes as I normally do but that's fine you can write it this way as well so this is my criteria now you need to understand when you write something in front of you know each other then for example you have written this greater than 100 in front of this and greater in front of this greater greater than 100 we have written this so they work you know together the condition has to be true for both the conditions name has to be four characters star but starting with the a at the same time the sales has to be greater than 100 so I see that there is just a one name which is um, I would say uh, this Ajay which is greater than 100 this is not a greater than 100 and if I change this to let's say triple seven dollar I'll get here too right because it starts with the a right but if I change this to let's say maybe Uh, maybe let me say I change this to Kimmy now you see that I still get the one so it is not going to count this Kimmy it is uh, always going to count this Ajay right because we have specifically said that it has to start with the A so this is how you can make your functions very very powerful and uh, you can further add you know ear criteria as well suppose you want to check alphabet you know having the four characters with the A alphabet greater than sales and the ear again has to be greater than let's say you want to check that uh, it has to be greater than let's say 2013 okay and uh, now here when you're going to expand this criteria like this you see that there is no element right because you see here we have the 2001 so if I change this to 2015 I'll get here one so this is how the function works these database function works and the more important thing you need to understand is only the criteria because ret rest of the parameters really not gonna take much of time to understand so criteria is what exactly you know where we actually struggle where we uh, take little little of time but then again you know little bit of effort and little bit of uh, you know uh, your time consumption can make your actually work very easy and obviously when you use such kind of a formulas you actually you know uh, get to uh, you know famous among your Excel users and among your you know people uh, with whom you are working because these are the functions generally people are not aware and they can do 
lot of lot of good stuff right so at the end of the video maybe uh, I can show you one more example it just came up in my mind uh, sorry I'm always busy in you know giving examples and my mind always keeps on working taking different different examples so that when you watch these videos not just for the sake of watching you or not just for the sake of that you actually want to copy some stuff from this video and you know you can paste it or you can uh, just write the steps I actually want that you should actually get the things clear so that you can do each and every stuff by yourself right so maybe uh, we can uh, s do this kind of a stuff let me just uh, copy this here and paste this here and uh, instead of this we can do this stuff let me just drag this now can you imagine that if I use this function use this criteria and this function what do you think what would be the output if you have watched all those previous videos I'm sure you will definitely be able to answer so what exactly we are going to do we are going to give the true now different criteria guys right they are not dependent upon each other because I haven't written this greater than 100 in front of this so what it is going to do is Excel is going to count all the names which has A and has three characters so how many characters do we have we have Ajay we have uh, what else uh, so there is no other character so this is going to be counted as one the next time it is going to see the criteria which is greater than 100 it will again find this empty it has no name right in its you know to its um, left side so it is going to count all the elements greater than 100 so how many elements we have we have this one this is second um, second and then this is going to be uh, this is what else we have so we don't have any other element so the answer would be two I guess so that's what you know we have got here right so both the conditions are checked separately now if I'm going to uh, increase this let's say 100 you see 90 it will be increased as you can see here right it is working irrespective of this a it has already counted this condition and now this time it is going to count all the names which has greater than 100 make sense so you can you can simply check here uh, just use the filter here and uh, you can say that greater than 100 would be what I don't know my this Excel just it is hanging today not sure what is happening I hope uh, this video will reach out to you otherwise I'll have to <laughs> re-record it and it's a very painful process all right uh, maybe we don't let's just you know uh, use our own funda which is let me just bold them so let us quickly check so this is a I'm going to make this board because this is greater than 100 what else this is going to be greater than 100 this is going to be greater than 100 this is yes this is also and this is also and that's it I guess right so how many elements we have one two three four five and six right so you have got the six elements now if you're if you're thinking that this criteria is not counted then I must tell you that this can be counted only once it is already counted in this criteria okay so this is already counted and when it is going to work on this uh, uh, greater than 100 it will not repeat this step it will not count this ajay because this is already counted right so you can't calculate the same thing again and again right so that's how this is how you got this six answer right so do subscribe to my channel guys and uh, as always I want to thank you again for making this um, channel you know day by day I'm getting a lot of viewers a lot of subscribers and it's quite you know it's gives a lot of um, great feeling you know that people are liking uh, the ch uh, videos and they are writing me in and uh, so this is what I'm doing I'm taking up questions good questions difficult questions and I'm trying to help you out in terms of you know by simply uh, coming back to the YouTube channel and uploading the videos so if you have any questions if you have any doubt or if you are looking for some training awesome training or training with the 100% money back guarantee just write me in at this email ID and uh, I can surely help you out so just watch out for all those previous videos and uh, these are the recently started dashboard making and what if analysis uh, series which I've just started wonderful series wonderful respond on that so 
it's a great response i must tell you because i have i'm getting a lot of clicks and you know a lot of comments from the people uh, they're writing me in and uh, they're thanking me but indeed it's actually you know because of your efforts and because the way uh, you are actually encouraging me and pushing me you know towards uh, uh, you know going ahead and uploading the videos because of your questions so that clearly shows that actually you are liking the channel you are really really you know this is actually benefiting you a lot and so in a hope that i'll come up come back with another some great video uh, just till then um, goodbye and uh, stay fit stay happy and happy watching happy learning bye bye thank you